Today's announcement is really good news. It means that for the first time, everyone with type 1 diabetes who lives in England will be able to get access to flash glucose monitoring uh, in a universal way across the whole system. Not necessarily. It, what it means is that if you've been told that you won't be able to get it because your local CCG just say that it's not a priority, then if you meet the criteria that, have, that are now national criteria, then you will be able to access it. Um, the criteria are quite complex and uh, we'll be making them available to people through our website. Um, but in broad terms, um, they're for people who are testing more than eight times a day um, or are really struggling to manage their diabetes. For example, if they're having disabling hypoglycemia uh, or diabetic ketoacidosis. Today's announcement only affects people with type 1 diabetes. When we looked at the evidence, our view was that there are people with type 2 diabetes who could benefit, namely those who are intensively using insulin to manage their diabetes. And that's something that we'll be pushing for uh, in the coming months and years. No, we want to make absolutely sure that today's announcement is actually implemented and also we still think there are some people who could benefit from flash technology uh, that today's announcement won't affect. Today's announcement is a big step forward but there's still a lot more to do. We know that there are other diabetes technologies that people aren't getting access to in the way that they should, whether that's uh, access to test strips or continuous glucose monitoring or pumps. There's still a lot more to do and a lot more to fight for.